So to draw the top view, I'm going to be looking straight down on this object, and I'm going to start by drawing a rectangle that's 101.6 on the X and 50.8 on the Y. So I'm going to pick the Rectangle command, snap to this corner, and I'm going to type 101.6 comma, and then because I want to come down from that point, I'm going to use a negative value for my Y. So I'm going to type minus 50.8 eight and press enter and so my top view can fit right up in there. <clears throat> now uh, in order to get this 45 degree line in here I need to come 12.7 units forward and there's going to be another line across there so the way I'm going to put that in is I'm going to explode this is my explode uh, icon I'm going to explode that rectangle and press enter and what I'm going to use is the offset command I'm going to pick on offset and I'm asked to specify a distance. I'm going to type 12.7 and press enter. I'm going to pick that top line and then move anywhere below it and pick. All right, so I've just offset a line 12.7 and according to my sketch at that corner I need a 45 degree line starting right here that's going to come all the way out past or all the way out to the intersection of this line right here. So I'm going to start my line command. I'm going to snap to this corner. I'm going to move in the direction I want to go and I don't really know the exact length of that line so I'm just going to exaggerate it and I'm going to say I'm going to draw that line 75 press the tab key and since it's a 45 degree angle but I have to add the 90 degrees in there uh, from east I'm going to type 135 and press enter and then press escape now at that point you can see I've come out past there and this is a simple matter of just selecting the trim command and then pressing enter Whenever you pick trim, just press enter, and that makes everything a cutting edge. I'm going to pick here, pick here, and I'm going to pick here and trim that off. Now I have enough information. I can project this corner down into my front view to give me that line that I see right here in the front view. So I'm going to pick on my line command. I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to just park my mouse on there until it tells me it says, until it says endpoint. I'm not going to pick right there. I'm just going to acquire that point. Then I'm going to follow my dotted line down, and when I get to right here where the intersection shows up, I'm going to pick here. I'm going to come down here, and what I want it to find is a perpendicular. And I don't see it finding perpendicular, so without canceling the command, I'm going to go to O snap. I'm going to right click on that. I'm going to pick perpendicular object snap, and now it should find a perpendicular. I'm going to pick right there and then press escape to break out of that command. Okay, the next thing I'm going to add to the top view is I have a radius of 19 right here and because the way those center marks are drawn on that I know that that radius is located 19 millimeters over from the left side and 19 millimeters back from the front edge and the command I'm going to use is the fillet command the fillet command is located right here I'm going to pick on that and it says select the first object but here's the thing AutoCAD doesn't yet know what size the radius is. So I'm going to come right here where it says radius with my mouse and I'm going to pick on radius. I could also type R and enter but I'm just going to pick radius and now it says specify the fillet radius. I'm going to type 19 because that's what that radius is and press enter and now it says specify the first object. I'm going to pick this visible line and then I'm going to pick this visible line and it rounds or puts a fillet on there. Now I want to show you something. The center for this circle, which also has a diameter of 19, is concentric with the center of that R19 radius right there. So I'm going to locate a circle with a diameter of 19 at the same center as this radius. So I'm just pick on my circle command. I'm going to move my mouse near that circle. And when I do that, the center of that circle lights up. I'm going to pick right there. I'm going to type D and enter because I want to enter a diameter. I'm going to type 19 and press enter. And at that point, uh, I have my circle located. Now, the other thing I need is I need to draw the edges of this cylinder in the top view. And I know those are going to come out 25.4 millimeters. So that's my next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my offset command again. I'm going to type 25.4 and press enter select the back edge, pick anywhere below it, and pick. And so it offset that line 25.4. Now I'm going to zoom in, get this set up here, and I'm going to go to my line command, and I'm going to come to this circle. And what I'm looking for down here is a quadrant. But I'm not seeing the quadrant object snap 
light up because I know that it looks like a diamond shape and it's not showing so I'm going to go to o, o snap right click on that and go pick on quadrant turn quadrant on come right in here select on my actually I'm not going to select it I'm just going to park on it till it tells me it's acquired the quadrant I'm going to move straight up I'm going to pick here and I'm going to go perpendicular to there I'm going to do the line command select it again come down here park on quadrant come straight up pick and pick and at that point I can actually either trim this line back to here on both sides or I can just pick on the line and then I'm going to pick on that blue grip right there and hold down with my pick button which is my left button and drag that back to here and then I'm going to pick I'm going to come over here grab this one drag it all the way back to here and pick again right there alright now I'm also going to have two hidden lines that go through here for these lines in here so I'm going to pick on my line command I'm going to park on quadrant again I'm going to come up here pick and pick press escape I pick on the line command park on the quadrant come straight up pick and pick again and those are on the wrong layer I need those on the hidden layer and here's how I can do that I can select both of those just by picking on them come up here to my layer control pick on the down arrow and if I have a hidden line loaded in here anywhere, it looks like I have a dash, so I'm going to pick on dashed. Usually I have a hidden line loaded, but you can see there's my hidden line for that. All right, now I want to show you something. In the top view, when you look straight down on this, you don't see a line coming all the way across. That's because these, this plane that I have right here comes up into here, and then it runs out, and it does that on both sides. So I need to trim across the edge at both of the, where both of those run out. So the way I know where the runout is located, I'm going to pick on my line command. I'm going to come right down here and, and find where this line comes up and intersects where earlier I drew tangent. I'm going to park on that endpoint right there, and I'm going to come straight up in line with that and pick, and then I'm going to go perpendicular to that. <clears throat> so I'm going to take this line out in just a second, but I'm going to trim from this edge over to the opposite edge over here. I know it'll be the same size on the other side, but I'm just going to go go to line, go find the end point of that line. I'm not going to pick it. I'm just going to park on there, then I'm going to come straight up. I'm going to pick at that intersection and then go perpendicular to the top line. I'm going to select trim and press enter, and I'm going to trim this line right there, and I'm going to trim it to there, and I'm going to trim it to there. I'm also going to trim this edge and this edge. Press escape. Now I'm going to pick this and this and press delete or erase, and that's what my top view is going to look like. Now I still need to add center lines and a center line through here, but uh, you probably know how to do that. One of the things you do to add the center mark is to pick on the center mark icon and pick the largest thing that you have the center of and you can see that would draw that. Now, right now I have that on the object layer so I would select that and put that on a different layer. Uh, I might put it on dimensions or I could put it on center. I usually don't put uh, center marks made with this icon on the center layer because the lines are already broken and they have the gaps in there so I don't really need the extra gaps that I would get um, by doing the center layer. But let's just make the center layer our current layer real quick and go to the line command. And I know the center of this of this hole that goes through here would be at the midpoint of this line. But again, I don't have that on. So I'm going to go to Object Snap, right click, and go find my midpoint icon. And I'm going to draw a center line from this midpoint, perpendicular or back to that center point. Doesn't matter. Press Escape. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now you can see my center mark, but it's too short. I want to extend it out. 0.25 inches above and below so I'm just going to pick my mouse on that grip right there drag it in that direction and type 0.25 and press enter now it looks like something didn't work I'm going to try it again 0.25 now the other thing I should look at here is I don't have ortho on and so it's possible I could go off at a slight angle so I'm going to press escape and I'm going to turn ortho on now I'm going to try that again I'm going to drag this out I'm going to type 0.25 and press enter Oh, I know what's going on here. I forgot I was working with metric system. I'm going to drag it back to here. I don't want to go 0.25 inches. I want to go 0.25 inches equivalent in the metric system. So I'm going to pick on that. I'm going to drag it up. And the equivalent of 0.25 in millimeters is 6. So I'm going to type 6 and press Enter. 
So actually that worked out. That was a teaching moment there. I'm going to drag this down in this direction, type 6 millimeters and press enter. And there you go. I have that guy over there. All right. The next uh, part of this is to draw the right side view.